guys Ivan here and in this video I want to show you this special spec G-Class and this is the G-Class 500 in Europe and a 550 in Northern America so this is the V8 petrol model as you can see and before we start give this video a like subscribe to this YouTube channel and leave a comment down below what do you like the most about this car this paint is just really really uh, gorgeous so this is called the Rubellit Red Metallic so it is really like uh, dark red not burgundy but something like a burgundy color and this is free of charge paint so here this vehicle is in AMG line so this is sits between the diesel engine variants in Europe and the 63 AMG engine version so this is the V8 model which sits perfectly between 350 and 400 diesel and as I said 63 AMG so let's take a closer look at this beautiful G-Class so we can see the legendary indicators and this car has also the night package so the indicators are like dimmed here we can see the multi beam LED headlights with the new daylight running ring we can say so these lights can cut out ongoing traffic and traffic in front of you so they are really fantastic so overall g-class is now super super modern it's like if you would merge the old g-class and also like an s-class so this is what you do get basically so a huge step up over the old g-class so really uh, this g-class still has uh, the specific features of the G-Class like differentials etc so you can see the V8 badge on the front fender and these wheels are AMG 20 inch multi-spoke wheels which have like a black on the inside and chrome on the outside AMG logo on the rims 27550 R20 are the tires here the Scorpion Zero Pirelli tires the rear tires have the same size as the front it's really nice you can have also different size wheels for this model we will also check the interior but really this car is so rugged it has so angular body panels and you can see the hinges on the doors are exposed so the car remains uh, with rugged look we have the G500 on the left side and that's uh, the same model as G550 in the Northern America and we have this signature feature of the G-Class which is the spare tire on the fifth door so it looks like a safari car very very cool so here is a little trick if you hold the lock button longer the all windows will close and also the sunroof so that's a good trick if you need to close or put down as you can see here with unlock button if you hold the unlock button you will fold all windows and also open the sunroof and this is good if it's too hot outside and you want to let the hot air out and this uh, sound of the closing mechanism is so loud and so special for the G-Class so that's really unique for this vehicle also how the door opens and closes is really really brutal so we can open the bonnet, the hood and check out the engine here in the G-Class 500 so this is the 4.0 liter V8 biturbo engine it is coupled with automatic 9G Tronic transmission and this engine produces 422 horsepower and 610 newton meters of torque or 450 pound-feet of torque this car can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour in only 5.9 seconds and the top speed of this vehicle is 210 km per hour or 130 miles per hour so this V8 engine is the same engine block as you have in the 63 AMG so really good, really good engine here in the G500 you can see all the engine parts and also the strut or the rigidity in the car and for the first time this car also has a glued windshield and the new modern wipers so that's really good for everyday usability of the G-Class and you have a signature here of the Gottlieb Daimler 
So at the rear we can see the fifth door as I said. Also you have a tow hook so you can tow a trailer or something else. So now we can take a look at this gorgeous interior, open these massive and heavy doors. And here we can see the exclusive beige macchiato and brown espresso leather interior. Here is the Burmester sound system, fully electric memory seats, heated ventilated seats and we have also controls for the windows. And the wood here is called the light brown sand wood. We have also illuminated door trim with G-Class logo. And also you have this badge, the Mercedes-Benz Shuckle Proofed. So Shuckle is actually the mountain where all G-Classes are tested before they are developed into the final product. So they are really going on the heavy rocks in the mountain. So it's really, really, uh, they need to have a special capabilities to pass this special mountain test. So really, go take a look at this modern interior. It's really like a merge between the old G-Class and the S-Class. So really, really great. This car also now drives better, so it is much better for daily driving. Here you can see the all-weather mats, but you can also have the Designo mats, which will complement this beige interior very nicely. So here we can hop inside of the G-Class and together take a look at this wonderful interior. So you can see the Burmester speaker actually matches the front indicator. Alright guys, so as you can see here, this is the white cockpit view. So we have two 12.3 inch screens. And this is AMG line, interior with exclusive package. So the leather here is exclusive, as you can see. It has like a diamond cut on the seats. And with ambient lighting, this looks now incredible, the new G-Class. So with this part of the steering wheel, I control the instrument panel. And with this one, you control the middle head unit. So you can actually change this into the various driving modes so for example into the sport or you can have the classic so this is like a, a lacquer on the wood a gloss gloss wood very very nice you have a clock here differentials so this one is front, middle and rear. These ones look like a, like a turbines. And we have also the settings for the AC and quick shortcuts here. So the wood is also present here. And the decor here is a Macchiato Brown, I believe, on the dashboard. I will check in the specification, but this is uh, like a beige. I will uh, show it on the screen. But basically dark brown and this is like a soft brown beige, we can say. So yeah, good combination. Also ambient lighting as you can see here. Also around the displays. And here in the feet area, also here in the handles, also here. So SLS is very good. So uh, yeah, fantastic. And the handle is here present, oh, as always in the G-Class. But otherwise this car is, is completely new. So yeah, here in the infotainment system you have options for the navigation, radio, can control it like this or here with this with this toggle what I want to show is the ambient lighting 
So here in the light settings we can see the ambient lighting. We have uh, multicolor options. So right now it's on the red moon. We can have it in the as a purple sky. The car can also find the gas station if you need that. And yeah, several are colors here. Like a dawn blue is like combination of the blue and the yellow. Here is a yellow. And we have also like a jungle green. Oh so yeah, pretty cool. During night this is a especially beautiful. You have also option of the single colors. 60 for actually brightness. We don't have at 100%. Okay, so now it's much better. Okay, so this is proper, proper experience. And let's put it back into multicolor. So red moon. We have a blue. And like a pink here. Purple sky is more like everything is uh, dark and light purple. Ocean blue is like uh, more or less everything is blue. And sunny yellow is like yellow. <laughs> Jungle green is like a green. You have various uh, shades of the green actually. Here is like a light gray. And here is like a, a darker and green. Well, yeah, and the most visible is here. 30, 34 number is definitely the most visible during day and night and always. And also in the rear, check this out. Also ambient lighting here. Also, we have uh, here the sunroof. You can close it, open it here. Also, you can open it like this. So, yeah, works great. These are the buttons for the lights. We have a sun visor here with the mirror. With lights. And we have also the microphone here. And the passenger has also a microphone, so it can be on the same call. Burmester speaker here for the surround sound. And also here and in the doors we have one, and there is a second, as I showed you before. Uh, so yeah, here with the dynamic select, we can change it from individual, sport, comfort, and eco. You have also manual transmission mode, ESP off, volume turn on or off the uh, command system. We have also parking, long, low range, this is for the off-road. And yeah, this is for the cup holders. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. You press here to open for the for some storage space, two USB ports, SD card slots quite deep. Everything here is actually very soft uh, to touch, Napa leather. And yeah, really gorgeous. So yeah, we can now check the rear seats. And the doors have very heavy sound.
So nice this ambient lighting, it's everywhere. Okay, so we have also here the multimedia system, but this is a brand new car, so it needs to like be connected and yeah. Uh, so uh, at the moment it's not functional, but you have two screens here, so that's good for uh, rear passengers or for the kids. And this is a rear armrest with two cup holders. These are extendable headrest. Everything is gorgeous here. You can see also the suede leather on the top. The handles are also in the Napa leather. Beautiful. And we have a We have privacy glass and also one vent is here. Window is double glazed for better sound isolation. We have heated seats, four master speaker, you can store something here. And the AC is also for the rear passengers with different temperature and three piece all weather original. G class floor mats. So, yeah, wonderful interior here. So, in terms of the headroom, you can see here uh, the roof ends here, the sunroof. So, I have a lot of space, like I don't know how much, but it's a lot. So, even taller people than me can sit here with no issue. And I want 100, I'm 187 centimeters or 6 feet and 2 inches. So now let's open the fifth door and we can see these gorgeous boot. So you can see on the fifth door we have this stitching, quilted stitching. So it looks really, really special. The fifth door is very, very huge. So you can see also the wood decor on the handle. So wonderful. So this car has 454 liters capacity up to this cover, but if you would fold it, then you can store about 1000 liters of uh, boot capacity. We have also boot cover here with the all-weather mat, but here under the floor you don't have anything because the spare tires is actually outside on the fifth door, so we have that special. We have also ski hatch here as you can see, so you can transport skis into the ski resort. We have also subwoofer in the door, so that's uh, really good for the sound and all around this is magnificent car for uh, storing and transporting all kinds of luggage and things so you guys let me know what you think about this g-class and what would be your dream g-class spec uh, leave it in the comment section down below also like this video subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell and guys Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.